Hello, first graders. Today we're going to be reading Delivery Bear. Even as a tiny cub, Zogby knew what he wanted to be when he grew up. Now Zogby read the advertisement in the grocery store window. Then he read the notice two more times to be sure he hadn't imagined the words. Zogby leaped onto his bike and raced off. His dream was about to come true. But at Zogby's interview, the manager shook her head. I'm sorry, she said. You just don't have the fluffy tail cookies look. Please give me a chance, Zogby pleaded. The manager sighed. Okay, you may have a one-day trial. Zogby packed his bike basket with cookies and headed to his first stop. After ringing the doorbell, Zogby proudly sang the delivery song at the top of his lungs. I am here with sweets to share, fluffy cookies baked with care. Every bite a fluffy treat, you will smile while you eat. Please remember, when you chew, you are special. You are you. Mrs. Rabbit opened the door smiling, but then, Ah! The next delivery will go better, Zogby told himself. I am here with sweets to share, fluffy cookies baked with care. Every bite, ah! I guess when customers hear the song, they expect to see a cute bunny, Zogby thought. He stopped to buy bunny ears and then biked up a rocky hill to his next delivery. I am here with, with sweets to share, ah! Oh, I need whiskers, Zogby realized. I am here with, ah! The tail, Zogby remembered. How could I have forgotten a fluffy tail? At his next delivery, Zogby stood sideways so the customer could get a good look at his fluffy white tail. I am here, ah! Zogby blinked back tears. The manager was right, he admitted. I am not cut out for this. Zogby sang softly to himself as he biked back toward the factory. Please remember when you chew, you are special. You are you. He stopped. I am special. I am me. Zogby turned around and headed in the opposite direction, making up his own delivery song as he biked. Hello from your cookie bear, here with fluffy treats to share. I am big and I am hairy. But I promise I'm not scary. Also, if you're feeling blue, you can have a bear hug too. Slowly, Mrs. Mole opened the door. My, you really are big, she said, and it looks like maybe you need a hug. That's true, Zogby sniffled. I could use a hug. With Zogby's new song, the last few deliveries went much more smoothly. Would you like to come in for a spot of tea and some cookies? Mr. Porcupine asked. When Zogby returned to the factory at the end of the day, the manager was waiting. Your trial is over, she said. I know, Zogby nodded. I don't have the right look. Thanks for giving me a chance. I said your trial is over, the manager repeated. Several customers called to say how much they enjoyed your singing and your bear hugs. Welcome aboard. Zogby's eyes widened. He pulled the manager into the biggest bear hug of the day. Does this mean I get an official delivery uniform? Zogby asked, gently plopping the manager back into her chair. Absolutely, she said, once she caught her breath. Come grab one. I mean, I'll order our first official delivery bear uniform today. The end. I hope you enjoyed the book.